Yo, what's up, brother, sister? How are you doing? My name is Hamish, but a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of call me uh, 25. But T D the CEO from Toronto Banjo Academy. So if you face out my channel, make sure you subscribe here to the link below. You can follow me on Instagram, the same name, you know what I'm saying? Or all social media, okay? And also you can uh, click the link below to watch my music just in case you face out my channel. So we got a question here, right? So I don't want to waste no time. Uh, consider the digits. We have a digits here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. A five digits ATM, so your ATM, when you go to the ATM, you have to put only five digits, like you want to withdraw money, put the money. One, two, let's three, four, five, six. You know what I'm saying? So the digits gonna, your, 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 your digits is going to have an ATM pin number, it's going to be five digits only. But now, consider the digits, digits is one, two, three, four, five, and six. But your digits, if you want to put in there, inside, you can say one, let's say one, three, four, five and six you know what i'm saying means you have to pick five when you put that at atm or if you don't want to do this you could say maybe you have to leave one so your atm digits have to have only five digits so you have to pick you have to select from one to six so one has to be left out for example you might say one two four five six you see it's five one or you could say one three two three four five you have to leave one digit it means you leave one if you leave three you take the rest so that's what i say so you can do however you want that's how according to the question they say you know what i'm saying so how many pin number can be formed it means how can how many ways can you uh, form the uh how many how can you form the pin number so now for you to form pin numbers is you know what I'm saying? Very, very easy. So this is how we do. We say, so we say the form digit number is very easy. So what you do, because you can repeat as much as you want. So you know what you're going to do is easy. Just say, oh, how many digits, the G, all of them you have? You have a, uh, let me stop here. You have how many of them? You're going to say you have a six digit. And then write power, whichever digits you're going to have to select. So how many digits you have to select? Five. So put that in the calculator. So let me show you how to do it. 7,000. Uh, 776 okay so triple seven six so this one is going to give us okay seven 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 six because there's a repetition this here is repetition somewhere here uh, but, uh, but, uh, where is the repeated digits can be repeated so that's the answer you know what i'm saying now we go to question number nine question number nine <laughs> let me raise here so i can have a space you can have a space here So we're down with one on top. Okay, so now the second question they say, uh, find the mean of the following. They say consider question 9 to 11, means 9, 10, 11, are based on the following. It means we're going to use this data to solve question 9 and that. What is the mean? How do we get mean? To get the mean is very, very easy. Mean, you say, to get the mean, you take sum, this meaning sum. Of all these data, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So we're gonna say this data start from one to n means a lot of them. Okay, so it could be ten means when n start from one to ten. Okay, all these data, so sometimes these one you represent by x your data. So all these data, but I don't know how many of them, so we say xi divide by the total number of them. Okay? Means add all of them, this sum, this meaning sum. Sum all this data divide by how many of them? So now this meaning is okay, let's add them. So 10 plus 12, 10 plus 12, plus 15, plus 18, plus 18, plus 18, plus 20, plus 20, plus 24. Divide how many of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Not okay, 9. Okay, so this is going to give us a mean. So add those one in the calculator and get your mean. Okay, take the calculator and add them all. And this is going to give us a mean of 17. 17. Excuse me, 17.2, triple two. 17.2, triple two. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so 17, triple two, okay. So 17.22, so mean is 17.22. Okay, so that's how you get the mean, okay? 
So this high here represents mean equal to 17.22. Now we want to go for mod. Mod is easy. Mod means number which appear the most. The frequently number. So number which appear many times 18 because 18 appear first time, second time, third time. This is appear price. So we look the number which appear the most. Okay. So 18 is the number which you call the most. So that means mod. So our mod equal to 18. And our mean we had already. The first one. Now we want to go. Uh, what is the coefficient variation from this group? So first and foremost, I'm going to show you how to use a calculator. And after using calculator, also I'm going to show you how to do it manual. Okay. Now let's go to. <clears throat> okay. So now I want to show you how to calculate a uh, uh, coefficient of variation without calculator. You know what I'm saying? So what you do? Write your data face here. Okay. So why we want to do that? Because first and foremost, look. Uh, for you to get coefficients of variation, you always take standard deviation over the mean. Standard deviation, deviation over mean. So we need to get standard deviation. But how you get standard deviation? To get standard deviation, standard deviation, you have to find the variance. And then when you get your variance, and then you square root. Get your variance, and then you square root. So let's see how we can do that. So first and foremost, let me get a uh, variance. So to get the variance, the formula is very, very easy. This is how you calculate the variance. The formula is here. This one here, roughly. Variance. So how you get variance is the sum of all these that are given to 10, 12, anything, and then you minus mean. Each one you must minus mean. Like you see, take the face that I was 10, minus our mean, which you had already, 17.22. Same, the second one, all of them, minus mean, minus mean, minus mean, minus, all of them. And then after, you need to square. So you minus mean, and then after that, the answer you're going to get here, you square. For example, 10 minus 17.22 is going to give us 7, negative 0.22. When you square root 7, negative 7.22 is going to give a 52.30 because you have to take that, and then you square. That's what I say here, I'm going to square. Now, 12 minus 17.22 if you minus, it's going to get equal to negative 5.22. Square negative 5.22 is going to give us 27. Because, so you write all of this, each one, for all the data they gave to us until you finish all of them. And then after that, how the formula say, formula variance, get sum. Each one you get together, you need to sum. This meaning sum means add them together. So you're going to add all these I've got here for each one. I need to plus 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 so the meaning of this sign here means you have to sum you know what i'm saying so square all of them and then you have to sum so okay and then after you sum means i'm going to sum all of them i'm going to get this so the summation of all these numbers you got here with the square and then after that you must divide by n how many number then one two three four five two nine divide by n that's how you get your values that's what i wrote here values equal sum of all this whatever you have means this data minus this is enough to get you square 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 and then this means sum sum all of them and then get the number when you get the sum and then divide by how one of them one for the seven total how many number nine so after you get it's gonna give you what the variance so variance is this one so now how are we gonna get standard deviation we say to get standard deviation you must square root variance so I'm gonna say oh standard deviation is square root variance what is the variance 18.44 when you square root 18.44 we're gonna get standard deviation. And then from there, we're done, man. We finalize. Coefficients of variance equal to standard deviation over mean. So standard deviation, we just got it equal to 4.3, divided by our mean, we had it before. How did you get mean? Add all of these, divide by nine. And then, this is coefficients of variation. So coefficient of variation equals 0 0.25. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. Things we don't.